Hey, good morning. So we picked up a snowmobile this last month and we don't have a way to move it around our garage very easily. So we picked up a snowmobile cart and I wanted to bring you along and, and how we built it and from unboxing it. So here we go. Okay, so we got it unboxed here. Easy Move does a great job packaging it all together. So it's almost completely assembled. We have one page of, of instructions. It's two steps, basically. One is unboxing. The second is putting a couple things together here. I'll locate the two-piece long handle and assemble using the lock pin. So this is the two-piece long handle, the locking pin. You place that together. And then it back up again and then slide the handle into the deck assembly. Locate the short T handle with bumper strap and carefully slide over the top of the long handle. It has a safety screw. So it's a 5 16 So just take that safety screw out of there. Okay. Slide this over. Slide that over that and insert the screw back in there and then insert the plastic cap for the end for safety. So now that we've got it on the ground, make sure the decals are facing up. This T-bar would go towards the center when we stick it in the hole. So we either stick it in the right or we stick it in the left there and all you do Stick it down there, like that. lift up like so, attach it to your snowmobile, and then you got it. We got the outdoor wheels here. In order to put those in, it has these uh, protective caps on the ends, and so you'll just need to kind of pry that out of there really easy with a flathead screwdriver. And it pulls out, and then you can insert in the outdoor wheels. Want to make sure that the label is facing up towards you. Do the other side. Handles facing you. That's how they go. Likely, what we have to do is slide this underneath the snowmobile, then add the outdoor wheels. Okay, so after a little bit of adjustment, we adjusted this platform here up to the next one up, just because our sled sits a little bit higher. Uh, but all you do is you just slide this thing underneath. And then you pull it back until you feel it hit the track. And then that'll be directly under the bulkhead. Looks like we're pretty centered over there. And then all you do is you pull back. You're just gonna lift it up and line this up with your bumper. And you hook that strap in the back of that hook. And there you go. Now your sled can be moved around pretty easily. Just like right. So let's try it with the outdoor wheels on it. I'm making sure all the labels are up. You don't have to lift up a little bit. There we go. All right, let's go on the other side. Making sure the labels are up again. Kind of lift up on there. Again, same kind of thing. Roll back. Just go against that track. Pull back and lift it up. And you can have this around the bumper, lining it up with our bumper. Clicking that. Now, we have the pneumatic tires. You may need to check the air pressure in them, but this should allow us to get over the threshold in the garage, uh, little ice chunks in the driveway, so we can get it in and out of the garage pretty easily. Let's let her back down, taking the tension off of the strap, and lowering it back down. And then to take it out from underneath the sled, you need to remove the pneumatic tires, uh, and then you can slide it back out.